Hey everyone, welcome to the final episode of Jira Tutorial Basics. We are thrilled to have posted several other short videos on how to use Jira effectively. And we also hope that all of these videos have been useful to you in your daily work. For today's episode, we'll go through how we can use the import issues feature in Jira to easily create issues in bulk from a CSV file. Importing Jira issues is a very convenient way to create multiple Jira issues at once. So let's see how we can import issues in a project from a CSV file. Most of us probably use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets to prepare user stories before adding them to Zira. Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets are powerful tools that aid in collaboration with team members. And once everything has been finalized, then we usually move to the next step to create issues in Zira. What if I told you that this can be simply done in just a few clicks? Instead of having to create tickets in Jira one by one, you can simply import them in bulk. For this, you can go to the Create screen and click on Import Issues. Here, you'll need to select a CSV source. Let me show you how to create one. On the screen, you can see a sample Google Sheet file that we have prepared. As you see here, we have matched the headers in the sheet to Jira fields. This, however, is not mandatory as we can map them to Jira fields during the import itself. But it would be convenient later on if we try to match the headers to specific fields prior to import. If it's the first time you are creating the issues for a project, then you may also want to create the epics. For this, you can simply list down all the epics as shown here. You should keep the issue type as epic and add in the details in epic name. Make sure that epic link is empty as an epic cannot be linked to another epic. Similarly, you can add in user stories as shown here. For the issue type, you should define the issue type as story. If you want to link the story to epic, you need to add in the epic link. For this, you need to make sure the text in the epic link matches the epic name as stated above. That way, Jira creates the epics and links the stories to the epic. You can also include additional fields such as story points, assignee, reporter, etc. Once you are done finalizing the requirements, you will have to save this as a CSV file. Now let's go back to where we left in Jira import. You can select the CSV source file. If this is not the first import and you already have a copy of configuration file, you can select this or leave it blank. In the next step, you'll need to select the project where you want to create the issues. You may want to check the date format if you plan on importing the dates such as created date, reported date to match the format, etc. Now in the next step, you'll need to map the CSV field to the Jira fields. For example, description CSV field can be mapped to description field in Jira. Similarly, we can map epic link, epic name, issue type, story points, and summary. You can leave the map field values unchecked for now. In the next step, before you begin with the import issue process, you can do a quick validation check. For this, you can click on validate. Now you can hit the begin import button. There you go. The import is successful. You may see a few warning messages. You can study these warning messages to see any specific issues faced during the import. Just below the what now section, you can see the save the configuration. You can save this configuration file for future import as mentioned earlier. This will help you in field mapping step. In the next import, some of the previously mapped fields would be auto populated with the help of such configuration file. Finally, you can see the list of created issues here. All right, that's all for the Zira import. 
and this also ends the Jira Basics video tutorial series. I hope that this video series has been useful to you. Please don't forget to ask questions or give feedback in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.